All right, we're out. Me and Sergeant Aaron are out. Um, we're doing a little bit of metal detecting in my favorite little spot. Sergeant Aaron just pulled out a blob top embossed, and it says something from uh, Baltimore, something like uh, Icaso. Uh, no, no, no. A A C S and Co. What is that? Isaac and Co. Isaacs and Co. No kidding. I've never seen. I've never heard of that. That's awesome. That's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. Beautiful. And I think I found the bottom of my pot that I've been looking for. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this this spot here will produce. And I love how the sun turns. Uh, the bottles are uh, purple. You can tell this one wasn't in the sun. Look at that blue, uh, beautiful aqua blue. That's beautiful. That's the best bottle out of here. Best bottle. Now all we have to do is find a couple ginger beers or some uh, or, or some of those uh, German beers. Ceramic. Is that a... Uh, oh, there we go. There's a button. Uh, there's a... Uh, what do they call? A ceramic button. I just found a ceramic button just by pulling around and, and I love to bring the sifter here. Are they working anything? Uh, ceramic buttons are just something that they wore back in the 18, early 1900s. And this is one of the biggest ones I have in my collection. But yeah, and it's just, just sitting right there, you know? So, but we have a, uh, a family party to go to and we had about an hour and uh, we came out here and uh yeah this is the spot you guys can see it i don't i don't have any of my rakes and shovels but this is the spot see the the corner of the bottles that i buried i didn't want people to see a bunch of them you know so i, I left them sitting there but yeah this will be uh a part of my video um uh conclusion part when i uh when i get back home because I have half of it already made up. So, boys and girls, ladies and gents, we'll catch you on the next hunt. Me and Sergeant Aaron. All right. See ya. Hold on. There we go. Sergeant Aaron is uncovering a bottle. I came over here as quick as I could to find out what type of bottle. It looks like a med cork top. Cork top med. Beautiful condition too. Looks like it's in beautiful condition. Let's see if there's any embossing on the sides. I'm looking for embossing right now. I don't feel nothing on the fronts. Let's check out the sides. So we know it's a cork or med. Very small. Smalls are awesome. Check out the panel mark. You guys can probably see it better than I do. I have the sun in my screen. But... That's a nice little small right there to add to the collection. And, uh, that's a very pretty small. Sergeant Aaron, he did it. He found the first bottle. We have two hours to dig, and we have a contest going on that was in my mind, probably not at his, um, on who can find the most whole bottles in a, a, a site that kids have torn apart. But there you go, Sergeant Aaron. You're the man. All right. All right. One bottle. Sergeant Aaron won. I didn't find anything. I found a horseshoe. I found a hoe, which I left at home. I thought, no, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, I found... I know that is a uh, like a wine glass, and I have a stem and a base at home that I may be able to get a nice little picture of, but it's only going to be a half of a, a wine glass. But we found tons of these bacon powder uh, tops. Um, there's more here, um, but Sergeant Aaron, here's your small. Um, we only had an hour to dig, and... The video will show uh, uh, show uh, a few more uh, dig times where we only, we dug 
um, one time for like an hour and then we ended up leaving and then I dug by myself for like 20 minutes. So this video is going to end up being like 30 minutes long, but it's going to be three different digs. All right, Baltimore Bottle Diggers out and so is Sergeant Aaron. Peace. All right, Sergeant Aaron, does anybody see what I see right now? Sergeant Aaron's probably going to think, yeah, right. I'm sure that's just what he sees sitting out of the top. There's nothing disturbed, nothing at all. And I figured out a theory on why trees will fall and where most people that had sense back in the day did their personal private land dumps. I have a theory, but I'm not going to let that out the box or reveal it because that's why they didn't want to put dumps. See that nice tree that's worth a lot of money, nice and straight, fell over. They put their dumps too close to that their good trees would end up falling over. The roots would die because of them burning their trash and such. So most of them that were smart did them. Look, windblown. Nothing pulled that over. That's windblown over. That's how fast the winds were and the storms were recently. But no bottles under that tree for some reason. So this area had to be the dump area right here and i'm probing down and i'm getting a lot of hits so i have a theory and i'm going to stick with it but i was over here scratching under this tree that i can't get to and everything up there is broke which makes me think that people pulled it out from behind me and threw the broke stuff up there because i have not found one bottle in that area yet that has been whole Aaron has found two, and then I'm crawling around on my hands and knees, I know this video isn't going to be long, and I see a hutch top sticking out. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can, and I'm going to reveal it as soon as I can get under here. That's all I saw was the hut, there it is right there. Alright, that's all I saw was the hutch top, okay, oh please, please be whole. I haven't found a bottle out of here yet. Please be whole. So far, look. I did not put that there, Aaron. This video is going to be long. Please be whole. That little sucker gave me his hutch. And I cleaned it. And he gave it to me. And then took it back. Indian giver. Sergeant Aaron's, and it, Sergeant Aaron's an Indian giver. But... He has two finds out of this area. I have tons of bottles. I don't care. And it's embossed. Please be whole. These are hard to break. So the kids probably shied away from these because... Oh, yeah. And it's filled. I'm gone. Baltimore bottle digger's gone. You can tell that's not a hole that was... All I saw was the top sticking out. Look at that. Oh, my first bottle out of here. So Aaron won. This is all going to go on the same video. I wonder if this is another Isaac. Nope, this is a John L. Sanders. John L. Sanders. And it's a Baltimore. Ooh, look at all the maggots and worms in there. Ooh, ooh, things are going after the water in there. Thank God the uh, the freeze didn't crack it. That's how thick these bottles are. They they last forever. But I don't have any that are... I call them blob tops, but everybody else calls them hutch. I guess they're called Hutchinson tops. Uh, but, or Hutchinson blobs. But, yup. Ew. That was a, a find that... Is less than 4 minutes and 30 seconds, but I had to show it to you guys. There it is. It doesn't look like it has any uh, dings or dents in it to me. So, Baltimore Bottle Digger's out. Sergeant Aaron isn't here with me today. This is the 
fourth short dig on this video. All right, guys, I'll show it to you cleaned up. Bottom of bottle diggers out. Sergeant Aaron isn't here to say out. See ya. All right, guys, I'm going to start off with um, some of the jars that I found. Um, this is a ball jar. Uh, <clears throat> it says, I think it says, uh, uh, quilted or quilted crystal something USA. It's a ball jar and this size ball lid with the porcelain inside of it fit, fit it perfect. It screwed on perfect. Now, this is a P&H canning jar also. I saw it on one of the websites. I don't I don't name prices because people can name any price they want. I, I don't care about prices, but it says P&H Chicago P-L uh, jar uh, designed and patented in Chicago. Then I found this. I think this was a, like, on... Um, American diggers. I think these were the three piece molds that he was talking about, and they were reusable uh, ink jars or, or, or refills, something like that. I think. I believe this was a cologne. I thought that was pretty cool. I never looked up SHR before. That's a pretty cool insignia. I think that's what it is, or it's a double R back to back. That's a cool insignia, uh, you know, monogram or whatever you want to call it. I forget what they're called. I, I love smalls, so you're going to find uh, fingernail polishes. I think it started real big back in the 40s, and uh, I think this is a medicine, like an iodine dropper or something because it's missing the uh, thing there. And then uh, I, I believe a medicine, that would probably be a medicine, <clears throat> but... I do save my drinking glasses. I'm like Digger Rye from American Diggers. I do save my dig, uh, my glasses. I have a collection, and a lot of them are the same from back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, maybe 20s. But I do save those. Look how close the uh, <clears throat> the canning process uh, and the glass process was of making drinking glasses. It's almost the same kind of designs and stuff. And then I just cleaned up this one. This one says uh, Santa Glass, I think it says. Maybe this was some type of medica medication. I'm not sure. Uh, what's it say at the bottom? Breakway, maybe? I didn't look it up. But what I wanted to get into was the different tops. I want I want to learn how to... Like, take this part off, the broke part, and then have all the different types on display in a case. I have some cool display cases, and I have a whole trash can full of tops that I just pick up because I love the difference. Every top is different. Because they, they were applied tops and everyone had their signature. Just like when I'm <clears throat> doing work, construction work, everyone has their signature. You can tell who did the work. So everybody had their signature uh, <clears throat> way they did it. And I just love all the different style tops. But then they came out with the crown top which uh, was invented in Baltimore, Maryland. I have to put that in there. And the small tops just amaze me 